So here we are, and Cabanel is still on the ground with a warm knit hat on his face. After completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanella, the man in red left, and now a new story is about to unfold in a new present, where both Cabanella and the old pitching guy are alive. I'm really, really surprised we could pull this off. <laughs> Getting both of them out there alive against such an evil guy like that, that's a freaking miracle right there. How are you feeling, you old crazy character? Yeah, you okay, Cabanella? He still has those broken bones, I guess. Hey there, Prof. We're both alive, I see. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. But I don't know if I'm getting old or what. I've got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be a little thing like an explosion wouldn't bother me. Yeah, right. Like, I'm gonna believe that. So what? The guy in red is gone, eh? Just in case, I posted a special investigation unit all around the building. Let's just pray the boys came through for us. Nah, I'm gonna guess not. That guy seems like he's incredibly clever. Kevin Ella can't even get up. <laughs> Damn it, you picked a bad time not to listen to me, buddy of mine. Trick time. Alright, I am back. I just put the oven on because it's 8 o'clock and I haven't eaten yet, so I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> but anyway, if I knew things were going to end up like this, I would have tried to die in that explosion, baby. That way I could have been dancing after Big Red by now. I knew it would involve dancing. I might be able to raise death, but it's true I can't do much about injuries. Unless there's a ghost power for that too. <laughs> but really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yeah, sorry, I suppose you're right, I just hate feeling so helpless. He was right there within my grasp. All our plans were resting on tonight, and then this had to happen. I guess he's thinking about his faultless record. It's not too late, Inspector, we still have a chance. Maybe I can catch him. Say, you're right, that's not a bad idea. I'll cooperate with you fully. Go ahead and fire away with any questions you like, Mr. Ghost. Alright, let's hear about the spotless record first, because I'm really interested in this. This spotless record of yours, is it really that important to you? Of course, baby. In some ways, it's more important to me than my life. Than your life, eh? After all, it's because of my record that I'm able to get my hands on all intel as head of the Special Investigation Unit. And because of my position, I get to direct all aspects of the investigation into the manipulator case. Okay, so that's what he was about. He wanted to get to the top so he could put everything on this. Of course, why else, baby? I just never could believe a man jowed shooting Elmer. I didn't care what he confessed, there was definitely something more to the story, some secret. Wow, they really are old buddies. He went to this length to help Jout out. I did everything I could to climb the ladder, everything in my power. And then I finally found the answer. It took five young years, though. The manipulator, he's going to prove that Jout is innocent. What incredible determination. Let's hear about the manipulator, then. We first found out about the manipulator's existence during certain overseas communication. Overseas communication? For national security purposes, this country keeps tabs on communication networks. This particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country. He said he wanted them to buy him, him and his powers. Yeah, that's our guy. That's how we first heard about him. Of course, we didn't know what he looked like at the time. And in order to prove these powers of his, he gave them two predictions. He foresaw two completely preposterous impossible cases. The case of a man who would sing national secrets during a live rock concert broadcast. And the case of a man who would take the chief commissioner hostage in his own office. Yeah, the two inmates of the special prison. We kept tabs on their communication and launched an investigation. And then finally we pinpointed where they were going to meet tonight and staked it out. Right there in the chicken kitchen. Seems like they put a lot of time into this, and so to have it all like fall away right at the end is kind of disheartening. The manipulator plans on leaving this country tonight on a submarine that belongs to the other country in this deal. Submarine? But we haven't been able to find out where it's going to surface. It's terrifying to think what would happen if his powers were to fall into their hands. Yeah, exactly. Probably to get more money, I think. And now that they have that little girl as a hostage, Camilla. We have to stop him before he leaves the country. I know 
what you mean, man. Let's hear about the revenge. That guy mentioned revenge. Revenge against the people who stole his life away ten years ago. Huh, he's a fool. He's the one who made the decision to take that little girl hostage and he wound up dead. He only has himself to blame. But what about what he said? I was murdered by all of you. Detective Jow to force me into a corner, Lynn, the girl who was playing in the park, and finally you, Inspector Cabanella. If you hadn't done what you did, I would have never pointed a gun at that kid. So what did you do, Cabanella? Talk to us. Yes, ten years ago on that day, the Special Investigation Unit was working on a certain big case. We hauled in a young man, an important witness to our investigation. And then I did it. I made two very stupid mistakes. Detective, I'm telling you, I don't know anything about it. Fine, fine, you're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, the Special Investigation Unit can make the rest of your life a living hell. Damn, Kavanaugh. But, but I... I've just been assigned to the Special Investigation Unit, you see. They didn't share much info on big cases with a newbie like me yet, and I wanted to impress them. It was only supposed to be a simple matter of taking his statement, but I was too green. I pushed him too hard, I drove him into a corner and made him lose all hope. That was my first mistake. And then I made another mistake on top of that. Cabanella, got a minute? The Chief wants to see you about your report. Got it, I'll be right there. You stay right here and be a good boy now. And that's when I did it. I left it behind in the interrogation room. My gun. Wait, what? How can you even... How does that happen? He used my gun to escape. What he said is true. If I hadn't made that mistake, he would have never had a gun to point at Lynn in the first place. Okay, that explains that, but... Damn, Cabanella, that's a big mess up. I'm really surprised he's still a detective after that. There's one thing I just don't understand. If you were so determined to help Detective Jowd, why didn't you help him escape from prison? That's an easy one, baby. Escaping from prison is a crime. I wasn't about to help him commit a crime after spending five years trying to prove him innocent. And he himself asked to be executed, you know? As a man of the law, I had to make sure the execution was stopped legally. Ah, fair enough. And that's why I brought him before the Justice Minister, too. I needed to buy as much time as I possibly could, baby. So that's it, eh? Wow, Cavanell is actually a really nice guy. Lynn has been bad-mouthing him the entire time, but he really has had Jowd's interest in heart. But there's one little unfortunate result of all this. Lynn, exactly, yeah. <laughs> now what's a little misunderstanding? My baby will come around, give it time. But there are more important things to do with our time tonight. Yeah, like stopping the guy in red and the assassins. Alright, that's Kevin Elladon. Let's talk to the old guy then. Mr. Superintendent, do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? I haven't always been a junkyard superintendent, you know. I used to be part of the police. The police, eh? Not as a detective, but as a medical examiner, I investigated victims' cause of death. Oh, so he was a doctor, eh? Ten years ago, I was asked to autopsy a strange corpse. Oh, I just realized I'm really messing up this guy's voice again. Oh, I just can't decide. Anyway. <laughs> Hit by a meteorite fragment and died instantly. That's what the police report said. There he is. There was no signs of life. He was definitely dead. But I never filed an autopsy report. That's because the corpse suddenly vanished, leaving behind only one clue. An unusual corpse. I bet that's what I've been chasing all night. Yeah, I think so. Could you tell me more? Yeah, sure. I was thinking actually, like if this guy died 10 years ago, then his body's in surprisingly good condition. <laughs> um, I have an interest in you recovering your memory and finding your true identity too. Thanks, man. This guy seems really nice actually. He seems very clever too. 
That's the only way I can describe it too, it was an unusual corpse. He was dead alright, no question about that. But there wasn't a scratch on him. Not a scratch, yeah, like his whole back would have been busted open you would think. I didn't understand it any more than you do. I was completely bewildered but when I tried to autopsy him I was even more puzzled. I couldn't perform the autopsy. You couldn't? What do you mean? The scalpel went in but it couldn't cut. What the hell? I guess that explains why his body's like that. Maybe Temsek did something to him when it went through him. And I never had the chance to solve the mystery. That's because the corpse up and vanished on us. The morgue is well guarded, nobody could have stolen that body. But there was one way the corpse could have disappeared. What's that? Let me guess. Yep, if he left himself. There he goes. Alright, there is a lot about this guy that we don't know, but that is kind of creepy. He got up, opened the door, and walked out on its own. What? He was dead, but he wasn't dead. We saw it with our own eyes tonight, not even an explosion could kill him. And he didn't even feel it when he slammed his fist on that stove. What about this left behind clue then? The corpse left behind some data from the testing I did. I got some readings for some kind of radiation coming off that body. Radiation? I used all kinds of instruments, but I couldn't determine exactly what kind of radiation it was. Some undiscovered type from a world unknown. Wait a minute, could it be? That's right, it was coming from that meteorite fragment. So, so we went to the park to check that too. I went to the park and tested the spot where the meteorite fell, and just as I expected I detected radiation coming from that crater. It was the exact same pattern of radiation as that corpse. At the time I thought he was some kind of immortal being. He would die only to come back to life. I wanted to research it in all depth so I quit my job as a police medical examiner. Damn. Several years later. I came to learn the connection between my research and the manipulator case, thanks to the arrival of the crazy character here. Oh, stop now, Professor, do you want to see me blush? Wow. Cavanella's arrival, then. It was about a year ago, I'd say. This man in white came dancing into my research lab here. I heard there was an oddball here who was researching Tempsic. Is that you, baby? Who you'd be calling anyone an oddball, yeah. I can agree with that. I guess the two of them really hit it off there. I was investigating the manipulator case then. And then I heard there was a man who quit the police force as only the meteorite. When I heard that, it was like a meteorite had struck me on the head. At the time, he was starting to get leads on this manipulator. We didn't know who he was yet, but we knew he was communicating with a certain foreign country. In one of the communications, we heard the manipulator say this. The source of my power is not of this world. Okay, there we go. That's all the confirmation we need. The manipulator case and Tempsic are somehow connected, which also explains how five years ago he used his powers to manipulate a birthday surprise a little girl made for her mother. Yeah, that got into the caption, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all him! He is literally behind everything that's been happening this past friggin' five years. Damn. Although how the hell do you stop someone who's immortal? <laughs> if he gets to the same place as Camilla, that's gonna be really bad. So that contraption in the basement here, you build that to try and help Detective Jowd? That's right. Jowd and I worked together back when I was on the force. I used the reports of his case to try and recreate the device, but there was just one part of it that I couldn't reproduce no matter how hard I, no matter how hard I tried. 
can know told you how to did something it shouldn't have made an impossible move. I added that part to the device I recreated. I put in the part that would allow Cupid to rotate, otherwise the gun wouldn't fire. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. As a result, we proved to ourselves that a manipulator actually existed. Ah, there's Lynn. Inspector Campanella! Then all the heroes getting together, <laughs> even Missile's here too. Hey, baby. Sorry about that phone call, it must have sounded like a real villain. I hated to spoil your image of me. Of that cool cat inspector you always looked up to. <laughs> I don't know. At least everyone's okay though. I think it's time for like a group meeting to talk about this guy. Inspector Cabanella, I'm sorry, I just heard. You were chasing after that man all this time to try and help Detective Jowd. This manipulator is such a dangerous character. I was hoping you didn't have to get involved. So that's why you had me arrested tonight, is it? Like I always say, if someone's in the way, throw him in the slammer. Yikes. Tonight. I really thought we finally had him. But my body gave out of me right at the critical moment. It's like a cruel joke. Jowd's here too? <laughs> Damn. But a joke is a joke, you might as well laugh. Jowd. The minister called off the execution order. And while he was at it, he let Detective Jowd go free until tomorrow morning too. That's a pretty extreme while he was at it. <laughs> yeah, everyone's here. Damn. It's like the three heroes here. Sorry I took so long to get here. You can leave the rest to me. There you go again, you've always been like that. You make everybody else run around and you swoop in at the last second. Ah, they have his code. That's cool. Ah, That's nice. So you can finally see Jay in his old detective gear. Suits him well, although he has to get rid of those stripes at some point. <laughs> I've been waiting so long, Detective Jowd. Waiting for this day to come. Thanks for not giving up on me, Lin. Okay, I'm off then. Good luck, my old friend. There he goes. Off to solve some crimes. Oh, Pucker Watch. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> This present you gave me was just what I needed. Thank you. Glad you like it. Wow, these two really are the best. There he goes. Cecil, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You and I have to go find that man. I need your help. Will you do this with me? Sure, but how? We don't know where the submarine is and the phone line doesn't work. They use communication cables to make their calls. We'll get you hooked up somehow, you'll see. Could you wait here until we do, please? Okay, fine, I'm counting on you. This true self you're looking for. I bet you'll find it soon. Alright, I'm leaving, Inspector Cabanella. And there they go. <laughs> it's almost dawn. I'm not who I thought I was. I'm actually further from knowing who I am than ever. But now I don't feel so alone. Each one of us, for his or her own reasons, looking for the truth. Together, I think we can shed light on these mysteries and drive away the darkness. But it's almost dawn. And with that, we've reached the end of the chapter, everyone. And damn, that was a long one. <laughs> it was pretty cool, though. Like, we finally learned a lot about what's going on with this guy in red and Temsic. And all the heroes are kind of joining together now to chase after this guy. But yeah, it makes you wonder exactly who we are, because the entire time we thought we were him, and now it seems like we're not. Yeah, like Ray sent us on this journey to find ourselves, and right now we're even further from the truth. So I guess we'll see where this goes. So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.